Hey everybody, what a week it's been in Beatles world. There is all sorts happening this week, not only with the Beatles, but with the solo members of the band. I wanted to do a video just to um, just give a summary of what's been happening over the past few days, some of which you've maybe heard about, some of which has flown a lot more under the radar. So I'm sure you've probably all heard by now about the Beatles Let It Be movie finally getting a release on May the 8th this year. Uh, it's coming first of all to Disney Plus on streaming. Now, in terms of a physical release, I'm going to talk about just my, my thoughts of what might happen there in a moment. So, when the Get Back movie was announced in early 2019, the Beatles press announcement very clearly said the Let It Be movie would be, be made available. Now, I know COVID has probably got in the way of that and it probably delayed things quite a bit. But they've stayed true to the word and it's it's been completely restored by Peter Jackson and his team, working in conjunction, it sounds like, with Michael Lindsay Hogg, the original director. Michael Lindsay Hogg has said that he made some recommendations to Peter Jackson about the, the way that the movie should look to try and make it look a bit more movie-like. Uh, Get Back was very polished, um, and I know it upset a lot of fans the way that it looked as though it was too polished, um, almost waxy looking in places. It didn't bother me, but I knew it, I know it bothered quite a few people. But Michael Lindsay Hogg has, has specifically asked Peter Jackson to, looks like, stay away from that kind of thing. So hopefully that's going to look really, really nice. In terms of a physical release, there is no news on that at the moment. But it's worth mentioning that it's well known that Disney really don't like physical media anymore. They wanted to get out of that game. But a couple of months ago, they did strike a deal with Sony. I think they realised that even though they don't like it, there's a market for it and they probably need to do it with certain releases. They struck a, a deal a couple of months ago for Sony to handle the physical releases of their product that's exclusive to them. So hopefully that means there's a realistic route to eventually, not immediately, I think maybe maybe towards the back end of the year, maybe early next year, a proper physical release of, of Let It Be, that original movie. And I, I've seen a lot of comments from people saying, well, Let It Be is not needed because Get Back exists now. But let's not forget that Peter Jackson made a very deliberate decision when making Get Back to almost almost completely avoid things that were in the Let It Be movie. Um, or if he had to repeat something that was in Let It Be, he tried to show it from a different angle, a slightly different perspective. So there's not that much overlap at all. And let's not forget that with Let It Be, you get, um, you, you get quite a bit of the concert the rooftop concert without the cutaways i love the cutaways down to the crowd i, I, I love seeing the, the the sort of effects behind the scenes if you like of what's going on with uh, when there's a concert like that going on but you get to see it more solely concentrated on the roof uh, and also as well the things that happened the day after the rooftop concert when they recorded several videos of songs that was pretty much ignored in get back apart from in uh, parts of it shown in the end credits that was deliberate by Peter Jackson, as he said. He didn't want to, he didn't want to make the Let It Be film redundant. He wanted that to stand as its own thing. So I'm really excited about Let It Be. I remember when I first got the Beatles Monthly magazine back in 1990, and, and I then got it until it finished many years later. One of the very first articles said, "Let It Be is about to be announced on VHS." And that never happened. And I feel like I've been waiting 34 years for this. I'm really happy about Let It Be. And I'll be, I'll be doing other videos on that subject. So, so please join me for those. So that's exciting in the news. But that's just nowhere near the end of it this week. So, Paul McCartney. What's he been up to? Well, as I sit here and record this, um, there hasn't yet been an official announcement from Paul McCartney's social media team. Um, but by the time this video goes live and you see it, that may well have happened. The One Hand Clapping album is coming on the 14th of June. This is amazing news. I'm really happy with this. So, um, it's been sort of officially announced. I don't know whether it was by accident, but Universal Music in Canada sent out a press release about this. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's announced. So, One Hand Clapping, as many of you will know, but some of you may not... In 1974, August 1974 to be precise, uh, Paul McCartney and the members of Wings recorded a documentary over a period of a few days and it's, uh, it's different performances of some of Wings' classic songs at the time up, up to the sort of band on the run period. Um, the, there's, even, there's even the odd sort of Beatles track in there 
uh, and it's been it's been very hard to to come by over the years in terms of an official release. Several songs have been released on archive collections, so I'm just looking at uh, what I've got here from my archive collections. I've got six songs from the Band on the Run archive, uh, one from the McCartney archive, two from Venus and Mars, plus one that was a, an official a download from Paul's official site. So there's about ten songs that have been officially released. There's going to be way more on this on this album that's coming out um, on 14th of June. It's coming out on in on two LP version two cd version and also a special two lp vinyl version that comes with an additional seven inch i remember the peggy sue version from the um, paul mccartney press to play 1986 tv special where they did a bit of a recap of paul's solo career and they showed him in i think it's around the back of abbey road outside just strumming along with an acoustic guitar to peggy sue and i've always loved that version that's going to be on that seven inch so I'm really excited about that. There's, like I said, there's probably going to be some official announcements maybe by the time you see this video. There was one other song that maybe flew under a little bit under the radar from One Hand Clapping that was released. And that was on this CD, um, the soundtrack to the movie The In-Laws, which came out, I think, 2003. And it's got a few Paul McCartney songs on there, but the Live and Let Die version on there is the one hand clapping live version very different to the studio version that you know uh, so that's one that you may not have been um, as familiar with as having been released but that's going to be on there as well so i know i was really critical um a few months ago about the the, the third anniversary mccartney three variations i just couldn't see the point but since then with band on the run underdubbed and now this i think they've got themselves so much back on track a fantastic release. I think this is exactly what Paul McCartney fans um, perhaps are, are wanting. Is is this this stuff that's sat there for decades, but we've not had official releases of it. I think it's brilliant to see. So I'm really excited for that. Um, Paul McCartney's website certainly will have that exclusive 2LP plus 7-inch vinyl set um, available to order. Don't know how limited it is, so you might want to get in quick if you want that. That's not all that's happened this week. Goodness me. Um, before I come on to what the what's happening in George Harrison's world, let's not forget that this Saturday, Record Store Day, Ringo has got the Crooked Boy EP coming out on a, a nice looking black and white marble vinyl. But what you may not be as aware of is that there is a separate order that you can put in for a release that's coming out, I think in a few weeks time of a black vi regular black vinyl edition and on CD as well. So have a look on Amazon, your local record store, that kind of thing. Uh, you may well be able to pick up those if you don't get that for record store day. And also let's not forget for record store day. Um, I've done a separate video on this. So I'll put a link to that if you want to see it, if you've not seen it yet. But I've got here um, both versions of the John Lennon Mind Games EP that's coming out on Saturday on record store day. It's the limited edition audio file black version. Um, and there is as well the glow in the dark version so I'll, I'll be showing both of those well I am showing both of those in that other video so don't forget they're coming but George Harrison it doesn't end there the news continues so Danny Harrison George's son has done a, um, a, a podcast interview um, for Record Store Day because let's not forget also on Record Store Day that there are new versions of George's Wonderwall music and electronic sound album coming out on this this zoetrope vinyl which looks really funky i haven't got any to see what they look like in real life but they look pretty funky um i'm, I'm not going to be buying those but danny harrison said in this podcast he talked about the fact that for the last 20 odd years he's been working on his father's work but he specifically mentioned um living in the material world and concert for bangladesh as two things that they are currently working on oh yes Living in the material world, he mentioned that just a couple of days previous to whenever he recorded that interview, he had been sent, uh, he called them the remastered tracks for Living in the Material World. I'm absolutely certain he actually meant the remix tracks. Um, by Paul Hicks, who's done the uh, John Lennon Ultimate Editions. He did the George Harrison All Things Must Pass remix as well. Um, he's, he's the man for remixes of, of Beatles uh, solo products. Uh, but he said that he'd received the tracks and he was talking about the the utter clarity of things like the drums. He said uh, he, he was talking about it being like um, almost like a blanket lifted from in front of the drums. 
that you can hear things so clearly now. And I think that is an issue with some of the early 70s albums, particularly from John and George. I don't know what went on in the recording studio there. I'm sure they were recorded brilliantly. But when it came to being mixed, Mind Games, for example, I can tell you from the previews of that EP, it's going to sound so much better uh, when the Mind Games box set comes out on July 12th. So much better. Um, but living in the material world, again, I listened to that the other night when I heard this news. Uh, and when you listen to it in terms of the clarity of it, it is quite muffled. And I know Dark Horse and Extra Texture, again, are quite muffled. And you, you, can, you can sense that there's things there that are desperate to get out, but aren't being served well by the mix. So I'm really excited. I think it's probably quite a long wait. If, if Danny's only just received preview tracks... Bear in mind that means that they're prob probably not pressed to vinyl yet. Lead times for vinyl production could be several months. It might not. It might not even be this year. But but that is confirmation really from Danny that he's gone public saying that that's been worked on and that's that's actively been done at the moment. And it sounds like they've got a plan in place to actually cover hopefully all of George's career, like the plan is in place in the John Lennon camp to hopefully cover all of John Lennon's career. Um, and, and get this stuff out with hopefully lots of bonus material as well. So it's really all been happening this week. Uh, let it be. The George news, the Paul McCartney one hand clapping news, the fact that we know that Ringo and John have got things coming out for Record Store Day. Get your wallets ready, folks, because it's going to be expensive, but I am looking forward to it. It's so exciting to be a Beatles fan still in 2024. I mean, can you imagine being a One Direction fan? What's going on in their world? No idea. But Beatles fans... Oh, it's all happening. I'm very happy. Stick with me if you want me to cover these releases all the way, because you know I will do. Uh, and I will see you again very soon. Let me know what you're planning on getting. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.